Today we're making a light and easy butternut squash soup. Hello, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today we're going to be making a very easy butternut squash soup. Let's get started. I have a bowl of butternut squash that I've already cut, peeled and diced up. I'll just show you how easy it is. With a vegetable peeler, just like peeling a potato or anything else, you just want to take the skin off. And the skin on butternut squash is a little tougher than a potato or a carrot or something. So you want to be careful and use a good sharp peeler. Don't attempt it with a knife. All right, get rid of that. Now you just want to put this up, cut this up in large dice. You want to try and get the pieces all around the same size so they'll roast evenly. This goes pretty quickly, but if you're doing a lot, it could be a little labor intensive. Now today I have a butternut squash that's about three pounds. It's pretty large squash. I know this is more of a fall or winter flavor, but I like it year round, even in the summer. It's just a bright colored, fun soup. It can be light or creamy and bisque-like if you add a lot of cream and butter to it. Okay, that's that done. Now we're going to get ready to roast it. We're just going to pour this on a sheet pan. Spread it out. Drizzle of olive oil. Couple tablespoons and salt and pepper, as always. With your impeccably clean hands, give this a little mix. You want to try and get everything coated in the oil. And this is just the easiest way to do it. And that also lets you spread it out in a nice even layer. Quick and easy. Now we go into the oven. Okay, this is going to go into a 400 degree oven. We're going to let it roast for 15 minutes. Come back, give it a stir to flip everything over, and then let it roast another 15 minutes. That's going to let the squash get nice and soft and a little bit of caramelization, which will just add to the flavor of the soup. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We're just going to give this a stir. You can see it shrinks down a little bit. 
15 more minutes and we'll take it out. Okay, here we are. You see this has come out of the oven. It's all roasted and golden. We have some caramelization on here. Now into the food processor. Right in. And we'll spill some on the counter while we're at it, but that's okay. The counter is very clean. All right, let's put this out of the way. We're just going to blend this up. You may find you want to add a little liquid to help it at this point. I have here a quart of chicken stock. I'm just going to add just a splash to help it along. That's all it needed. Another little splash. Now you could also, if you don't have a food processor, you could put this all together and blend it up with your stick blender. But I'm using the processor today. And we're just going to scrape this into our pot. We're going to add a little bit of stock to this. Let's turn this on. Just going to start adding this a little bit at a time until I think it's getting to the consistency I want it to be. I may not need this entire quart for this amount of squash, or I may need to add a little more. I want this to be a velvety soup, like a bisque, not too thin, but not too thick either. Kind of that in between consistency. All right. about all I need. Now we're just going to let this simmer for a little while, about half an hour, and then we'll eat it up. Let's put the lid on it and we'll bring it up to a boil and then we'll just cut it back down to a simmer and we'll let it go. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. The soup has been simmering away and all those little flavors are coming together. So we're about ready to taste. Lovely. And we cut the heat. Right at the end, before we serve, I'm going to add in a little bit of light cream. Just a little. Not to cool it down, not to thin it out, but just to give it a little bit of extra richness. Because the show is called Let's Celebrate. So we might as well make it really, really extra good so that we can celebrate in an extra special way. Now, all right. Now you could easily just serve this in a bowl like any other boring old soup. That's not what we're going to do because it's me. Now we're going to fill this little graduate up. Mm. 
beautiful. Look at that color. We could have a little bowl. With a little sprinkling of chives right on top. Or what I like to do for a great appetizer is have a shooter of soup. How fun is that to have with your cocktails and other nibbly things as a first course? Now, let's give them a little bit too. Prettiness sake. A little more. Oh, let's just try it. Hmm. That's wonderful. That really is good. It's creamy, and yet it's light. The butternut squash is sweet and full-bodied. It's just wonderful. And the texture of this from blending it up is very much like a bisque, but it doesn't have all the fat and calories that a bisque would have. Even with that splash of light cream that I added, it's still a much healthier option. Now, as always, I'll put the recipe for this up in the comment section on YouTube and any links to any products that we use as well. Remember, ask us any questions because we'd love to hear from you. So what would you serve this soup with? How would you serve it? Would you do it in a bowl or as a shooter? Now, remember, you got to subscribe, everyone. We need you to subscribe. So hit the like button so everyone knows that you like the episode. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss a single episode. And if you want to see any of our other recipes or videos, you can check us out anytime at youtube.com forward slash let's celebrate TV. Thank you for joining us. That's all the time we have for now. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Cheers.